Hey there, everybody. <coughs> Welcome back. Okay, so today we're going to do a very simple database where we can store information and uh, see the information and uh, clear the information as well. So I'm going to start off. I'm going to import the time module. You'll see what that's going to do later on in the program. So I'm going to create names equal to that. That's an empty list. Addresses is equal to an empty list. This is where we're going to store the information. And jobs is equal to an empty list. Okay, now we're going to give the user a message. So we're going to create a function called welcome message. Okay, this is the welcome message that the user will see. And we're going to print the user <coughs> some information as well. So enter details into the database okay and then we're going to reference it to enter name so this is another function that we're going to do so once it's uh, <clears throat> once it's executed this function here it will go automatically onto the enter name function so I'm going to create the enter name function now define enter name there we go enter name function there so that's the enter name function so we're going to get some uh, input from the user here so i'm going to say entry one is equal to import okay entry one is equal to import and then we've got to ask uh for a name let's say enter name <clears throat> just there enter name okay so enter name just there and we'll just go down one so then what we do is we we get the name from here and then we put it up here into the names list so we do that by saying names dot append and we're going to do entry one okay <clears throat> And now we're going to lead on to the next function, which is called enter addresses. Enter addresses here. Okay, so this is leading on to the next function. So the next function is called enter addresses. So then we go define enter addresses here and we're going to print the user let's have a look sorry we're not going to do that sorry enter addresses so it's going to be entry 2 entry 2 is equal to import so we've got the name so we're just going to say enter address so the user can enter their address or their city or whatever they want to enter into there at the moment. <coughs> so enter address and then we're going to append it again. Addresses dot append and we're going to append it with what the user typed in which is going to be entry 2. Okay and then we're going to go on to the next function down here so the next function that we're going to do is jobs so it's going to be enter job okay enter job there <coughs> right so we're going to create that function now so we're going to create the enter job function now so that's going to be called define enter job define enter job there and we're going to do um, what's that gonna be this could be entry one entry two it's gonna be entry three entry three is equal to import 
entry three is equal to import, and that's going to be enter job. That's going to be enter job there. Okay, whoops, made a mistake there, have we? Why has that gone there? Why has that gone there like that? Ah, put two of those uh, in. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so entry three, <clears throat> entry three is equal to input enter job. Okay, so we're going to append the jobs up here. So that's going to be jobs dot append uh, entry three. What the user typed in entry three. So jobs dot append entry three. And now. We're going to type in show details. So this is going to jump down onto another function that I'm going to create in a second. Okay, so we're going to call this define uh, show details. Okay, so this is going to show some details to the user. Okay, so we're going to print out some information. Print searching okay print searching uh, wait searching went one two so it looks like it's searching looks like it's searching there so print searching wait and to make it look like it's searching <coughs> we're going to use the time function so I'm going to do time and dot sleep and I'm going to set it to a value of one second. So it's going to pause for one second. And then we're going to print names from the lists. Print names and uh, print addresses. Print names, print addresses, and print jobs. Okay, print jobs okay and then we're going to jump on to another function that I'm going to create called clear <coughs> data base uh, whoops made a mistake there okay we're going to go down here and uh, create the other function called define clear data Base. Okay, so we're going to go down there and uh, let's have a look at the database. So first of all, we're going to print off a message to the user so the new user knows what's going on and it's going to be something like um, delete, delete details, mm, delete details. Okay, and then we're going to have to get some user in input and give the user a choice. So answer is equal to input, and we're going to give the user a choice. Let's say, uh, do, 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 do. I'm going to go. Yeah, answer is equal to input. Whoops, spell that wrong. Input. Okay, and we're going to say yes or no. So yes or no. Yeah, so there's two choices, yes or no. So we go down here a little bit further. And we're going to have to use a conditional. Okay, answer is equal to yes or no. And uh, let's have a look. If answer, so look, if answer is equal to, sorry, if answer, I'm going to put dot lower, so if anybody types in uppercase, it will reduce it to lowercase. If answer dot lower is equal to, let's have a look. oh dear, I've made a mistake here, oh dear, answer yes or no. Let's have a look. Yes or no? What have I done there? I made a mistake. 
sorry about that. Let's just uh, go over there because the indentation will be wrong now. So let's just uh, go back there. Let's just go back. So answer yes or no. Okay. So we're going to do the conditional now. So. Yes, come on, oops, shouldn't have done that. So, let's have a look. If answer dot lower is equal to yes or no then do something. Okay, so answer is equal to yes or no. Hmm, sorry, not yes or no. If answer is equal to yes or why, then we've got to do something. I'm going to clear the names out. So names dot clear Clear, and then we're going to do addresses dot clear, and then we're going to do jobs dot dot clear. Okay, so that should clear the lists out. And then we're going to print some out output to the user, so print deleted, print deleted, and uh, then put names, oh no, not in capital R, names, <coughs> addresses, names, addresses, and jobs names addresses and job else this is the catch-all it's coming else print you chose not to delete your info you chose not to delete your info and then we're just simply going to quit the program we could do lots of other things but uh, i think we'll just quit the program okay now we've got to call the function and i'm going to call it using the welcome message here to start the program up so that's going to be welcome message welcome message okay I'm just going to save that there and uh, I'll just try and run the program. Hopefully, I won't make too many mistakes. Okay, let's have a look at this. So, enter name Mark, enter address London. Okay, enter job Rocket Scientist. Rocket scientist. Searching, wait, yeah, there we go. So those are my details that have been stored in the database. Mark, London, and rocket science. Delete details, yes or no. So I'm gonna type in yes. I should have put a space there. Uh, I should have put a little space here. Uh, it's not a big problem. Uh, delete details, yes. Okay, let's have a look. Deleted, so you can see everything's been deleted, all my information has been deleted. So uh, let's play it again, Sham. Let's do that once more time. Do it one more time, baby. So enter name is uh, Mr. Patel. Mr. Patel. Okay, enter address Bradford. Okay. Enter job uh, curry house curry house boss. 
Okay. Wait, waiting. Okay, so we found that in the database now. Mr. Patel Bradford, Curry House boss. Delete details. I'm going to say no. So there we go. So you chose not to delete your info. So there we go. Close the program. And Bob's your uncle and Fanny is your auntie. I hope you enjoyed that. And remember to give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel. It will help me out enormously. So thank you very much and bye-de-bye.